What's up YouTube? Hope you're all doing well. My new Raptor LED lights are here. They're gonna go on the brand new TRD Pro Grill. We've got four inside here. They will go spread out along here. You can space them as far apart as you want. Most likely one, two, three, and then four if it's spaced perfectly. And those are gonna put off a nice, nice bright amber LED light. And I'm still debating if I wanna do with the daytime running lights or only with the headlights. But once we get the wiring about to be put in, then we'll uh, worry about all that. All right, we've got the fuse box open. We're gonna be using this 10 down here and we'll find out. I'm not too sure yet if it's gonna be the headlights that I want or the daytime runnings. And then we've got our add a fuse with our 10 and 15 fuses right there. And this, this whole add a fuse will then go into, like I said earlier, the size 10 right there or the the 10 fees after watching a couple videos we can do this 10 here and also the 10 here depending on if you want your raptor lights with the low beams or if you want them with the daytime running lights where they're on all day um, they didn't really specify which is for which so we're going to plug in both and see how we like it all right so we've got the add a fuse we've got our power fuse gonna go in here All right, there we go. And then we're gonna crimp it down. Make sure it's nice and tight, that way there's no issues with it coming out later. Yeah, pretty good. Same thing with the ground. Get it in there, and then we're gonna crimp it down. Oops. Make sure it's nice and tight, tug on it. Yep, we're all good. So we got the ground hooked up to here and then we did a trial run. So with this 10 here, the Raptor lights are on with the daytime or when the headlights go on. So if you're running auto, they're not gonna be on until your, your headlights turn on. And then if you use this 10 over here, Raptor lights are on at all times. So that's not the one we want. We wanna stick with only when the headlights come on. So we'll remove this one. So that one, put that over there. We'll get our add a fuse. And we will put that right there. We are good to go. And then instead of having the add a fuse here and the wires being exposed, we are gonna run the wires down through here, which will show how we do that. And then the add a fuse will connect into here. So we're trying to make this as less cluttered as possible by running the wire down underneath here. So open up this little wire piece there's a little clip back here you just use your finger and you could push it open and then you just once you got it open you can push this whole little box up with the box up there's this little little door piece that unlatches unlatch it and you can run your add a fuse wire behind it and then behind a little notch back here so See if you guys can see that. So you can see how it's behind this, that little clip right there. Close it like that. And we'll push it back down and get it locked into place. And then still, oops. Okay, there we go. I have enough wire to come back to the, to the 10 spot. So then that'll then clip into there. And now we've only got just this one wire that'll run through here. And then just to give me a little bit of room, I removed this clip here. So this goes in here like that, but we just removed it out of the way. That way we can work better with the little door that's back here and getting the wire through there. The add a fuse. And to give us some more wire, we're just gonna cut this piece right here. That'll give us more wire to run back along the fuse box and then up through here. And the uh, same with the ground. It'll just give us more wire to connect here to make it more clean as we're running it all back along there. With the way we ran the wires back there, no wires are getting pinched. So here's the Raptor lights um, running through the back here. If you don't go through the back over here and you just leave everything up top, your lights are gonna have to come outwards from the fuse box. So when you put the top back on, it's gonna pinch these wires. So running it back here leaves it clean and you can run everything along there. And then my Raptor lights are even going back behind the 
the mount that holds the fuse box. And just to clean it up even more, we added a zip tie right here, which is gonna hold the Raptor lights and keep just enough tension back here. That way it's not all loose flowing and it'll stay secured right there. So some of the lights come with three, this one's come with four. So we'll try to spread them out perfectly. So we'll get one up here and it fits in there nice and flush. And then our next one will go right along the top of the center of the grill right there. So pop it in and we'll space one here, pop it in, and then our last one will go right here. Just like that. So we took one space on each one and all four are even now. And then we'll come around the back and all these, the four, four connectors are all gonna go to each, to each LED light. So it's hard to see, but it's gonna be right here. And then these will just pop into them. So I'll do one. So clip it in and you're all good to go. And they'll do that for all four. There's how they look during the day with the sun facing on them. They're still very visible and pretty bright. That's pretty cool like that. I might back up a little more. Just have the Toyota and the LED lights shining right there. Looks pretty cool. That's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and stay tuned for future mods. Thanks for watching.